What is up, my fellow Barnon Nation? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon11970. Thank you, as always, for taking the time to check out my video. All right, guys, I was just talking with one of the subscribers who was making a very nice comment on a video that I uh, made the other day about getting your power back. And one of the things he said, and I'm sure many people feel this way or have felt this way, that we're so worried about what other people think, we don't realize how much it influences our decisions in life. And if you ever heard the old saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, well, look what they do in school, how they, since an early age, program you to think that if you are a loner or if you're an individual or if you are by yourself, then you're considered to have something wrong with you. Like that's a bad thing to have individual thoughts. They're always telling you, you know, be part of a team. In other words, join the tribe and follow what other people do. So, like, for example, when you love a baseball team or a hockey team, basketball team, football team, soccer team, it doesn't matter. You will hate other people just because they like a different team. I mean, I'm a prime example of what that used to mean to me. When I would uh, be, I'm a die, well, I used to be a diehard Yankee fan. I mean, I still like them, but they don't hold the same effect as they once did. And we hated the Red Sox. And anybody who was a Red Sox fan, we hated, and vice versa. And think about that kind of programming, that people that you don't know, don't know if they're good or bad. They could be decent human beings, but because they like a different sports team, you're going to hate that person? And you see it all the time. When I used to go to Yankee Stadium, if somebody came into Yankee Stadium with a Red Sox hat, people would want to start fights with them. And I've heard stories of Yankee fans going to uh, Boston and going to see the Red Sox at their stadium wearing a Yankee hat. People would curse them out, even if they had children. So we're programmed to follow, to not be a leader, to not have the strength of going out on your own, to always be part of a tribe. To the point where you're so afraid to be outside of what is mainstream or what is cool or what is in, that you sacrifice parts of who you are just to fit in for fear of ridicule. And you see by the thumbs down that I get from these people that they're showing that because I'm different, that I think differently, that I'm not in it to join the yes crowd that they will get a bunch of people that will agree with what they say, and it's so one-sided that you cannot even have an intelligent conversation with them. All they can do is say, well, these people don't like you because of one little thing. So we're only going to harp on that, and it doesn't matter anything else that you say. And that's the type of people that you want to have running the world or running YouTube there's a bunch of people that base everything on what somebody else told them or what is cool or what is in. Don't follow that program anymore. Be an individual. Don't be the whole, oh, there's no I in team. Well, there's I in individual. The smartest people in the world, the Einsteins of the world, the Galileos of the world, the Beethovens of the world, the, the, it doesn't matter. There's endless amounts of people that you could think of. They were not followers. They were leaders. They were pioneers. They were people who thought outside the box. Some of them even got persecuted for it. Research Galileo, the person who basically, when for hundreds of years the church convinced the people, the masses, that the earth was flat, and Galileo came along and said, no, I did research. The earth is round. The earth is not the center of the universe, and the sun does not revolve around the earth. Well, all of the masses made fun of him. They attacked him. They ridiculed him. It's like, oh, God, that guy thinks the world is not flat. What an idiot. Just because the masses think a certain way does not mean they're right. But ultimately, that person and the Galileo got thrown in jail for his beliefs and for his – well, no, not for his, for his beliefs, for his research because of other people's beliefs. And some people are so willing to hold on to their beliefs that they're willing to hurt their fellow man to make a point. To say that your belief is different than my belief, so I'm going to hate you and hurt you for it. And that's what these trolls and everything, that's why I always talk about them. I just don't let them affect me anymore. 
they spew hatred because they want you to have this message that unless you follow them, you're going to be hated on. So do you want to join us and sell yourself out and be part of the crowd that we'll like? Or do you want to be your own individual and we're going to hate you and attack you for it? All, to all the people that are new to my channel, for whatever reasons you came here, I don't know. I can't control that. But all I can tell you is, is watch my videos and make your own opinion. If you're going to formulate an opinion based on what other people have said, then unfortunately, you're a follower. You're not a leader. And all these other trolls that sit along and follow the footsteps of some other person that's sending nothing but hatred and false accusations, all you're doing is this following. That shows no strength. There, yeah, there might be strength in numbers, but that's the only way you can have strength. True strength is being able to stand by yourself, able to do things based on what you want. You don't buy certain clothes because other people say it looks good on you. You buy it because it looks. you say it looks good on you or your family looks, says it looks good on you. This is how they extort millions of dollars from people. Say, oh, you got to have the latest cell phone. You have to have the latest laptop. You have to have the latest ringtone. It's all about your ego. And it's all about fitting in. It's like, oh, look, I have the latest product. I must be cool. Because, look, I have what you guys have. And that's why you see, like, these PlayStation 4, Xbox One battles where people will attack other people because one likes one better than the other. Who cares? They're made from corporations that are stealing thousands of dollars from each individual person, selling all this stuff based on emotion, and you guys are fighting over it, and all they're doing is counting your money and giving you crappy products. Because if you see the review, the real reviews over just those video games alone, how crappy they are, but yet people, because of this customer loyalty, bragging about this stuff and spending all this money. And I see, because like I said, I used to talk about games all the time when I was younger. I was a gamer. I was into the, all that stuff. And they use that emotion. But who cares? Because in the end, they're profiting off of you. So when somebody says, oh, yeah, I bought a $1,000 Prada bag, it probably cost the manufacturer about $3 worth of Chinese child labor to create that pocketbook and pocket the other $990 or so off of the fact that you're bragging about a name? Be an individual. Stop worrying about what other people think. And that's why I'm going to get hated on, because they're jealous of the strength of that. And they make accusations. And that's fine. But I'm not going to join the yes wagon and be a follower and have a bunch of people say, follow me. I'm a leader. I may not be the leader, but I'm still a leader. And I am proud to say things that other people may not like or may not agree with because it's different. Because if that's the only thing that you can come up with, then you should really look at yourself. And if you've been so afraid of what other people think, who cares? Those people don't feed you. Those people don't clothe you. They're not there when you need a shoulder to cry on. They're just there to point out your deficiencies in life because that makes them feel better. And you're worried about those people? I used to be. Never again. And a couple of people today tried to start stuff. I'm like, thank you, but I'm no longer interested. I'm worried about the people who do care. So if you want to better your life, Stop worrying about the programming. Stop worrying about people saying, oh, come over to our side. We're right, and we'll like you if you do it. Or if you go and do your own individual thing, we're going to make fun of you. We're going to attack you. That's a bunch of cowards. A real man, a strong man, does things for themselves and doesn't care what everybody else thinks. And that doesn't mean doing wrong and hurting people. I'm talking about the person that's willing to stand up against the crowd if they know they're right even if they get attacked for it, even if they get ridiculed and made fun of for Because it's a lot easier to just say, you know what, if you can't beat them, join them. No, if you can't beat them, work harder until you do beat them. That's my motto. I hope it'll be yours one day. Build up your confidence. Because the things like the governments, they use bullies to keep you in line so you never achieve anything. And you always end up dependent on them. And they're sitting there with their boots against your head, pushing you into the ground, and asking, telling you to thank them for it. Is that the way you want to live? I sure don't.
that's why I try and be as much as I can being an individual and an independent person. Because I'm glad there's no I in team. Because I don't need to be a part of a team, especially if it's a team that doesn't give a crap about you. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And don't forget to have your trolls spayed or neutered. Peace.